The soul of South Florida is on the B-side. You can find me on the B-side. Join us for live music, poetry, and more. Featuring Lamon, Rucka, a.k.a. Sheriff Troy, a.k.a. Jacob, a.k.a. whatever character he's going to play next. And we're going to have a little conversation real quick. It's just some fun. I'm going to ask him a couple rapid fire questions and then that's it. And we just going to, this is going to be quick. It's going to be painless. I promise. Yeah, right. I promise. You're painless, I promise. I promise. Yeah, Steak what, or stone crab? That's what my doctor said. Steak or stone crab? Steak or stone crab? Mm-hmm. Jacob or Troy? Jacob. Okay. Why? I, a lot, I think I had more fun. I had more time to, like, okay. to flush Jacob out. And Jacob's issues were... Complex. Were, yeah, deeper, more complex, more layered. So as a character, like you could dig into Jacob. Yeah. So then the next question kind of goes mm -hmm. with that. TV or film? Maybe for the same reason, TV. Okay. Dream co-star. Dream co-star. Let's do male and female. So your dream, like, who would you absolutely love to work with? You know what? Mm. That's really tough. Um, and I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to be a little morbid. It's probably people who aren't here anymore. That's fine. You know, yeah. I kind of miss some of the OGs, you know, like, or, or people who are some of our living legends, like I, I would have loved to, uh, um, I would love to work with like Harry Belafonte, Lou Gossett Jr. You know, like some of like right. OGs, like that's like like where the experience is yeah, a learning experience. Yeah, like yeah, you're just watching yeah, them to learn how. Yeah, to do there's it. something about being in their presence, soaking up, you know, everything they have, all the incredible wisdom and experience, and you know. Um, love and respect and, and, and you know I think it's, it's 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 the love that I have for men with a certain level of have you, you had know, any of those experiences oh yeah yeah where yeah, you work worked with somebody and just sat there in all oh yeah 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 I mean I know blah blah Lou you know for sure um even matter of fact since you brought up Sheriff Troy when we did um Y2 and we're out there on the beach and you know Cicely Tyson and Lou Gossett Jr. are, are that's with it you. Like, so you're like chilling at work, mm -hmm. getting paid to kick it with <laughs> Lou Gossett Like, this is Jr. happening. Like, this is and, my life. Yeah. This is my but life. But that's, that's what it's like working with, with, with Tyler, too. So, um, okay. and then maintaining those relationships with both of them. She even came to see my, you know, a Broadway show in New York um, that we were doing on the Tuskegee Airmen. Um, you know, so, uh, and again, that just mutual love and respect and appreciation and how much respected elders like that, like kind right. of love you and support you and lift us up like mm -hmm. that's 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 what i love about our people our culture and, and people like that in particular yeah. so and i feel like everything is leading into the next question so if you had to do a biopic if you had to play somebody who would it be you know i actually have a list oh okay all right so at the top of that list um and again one of the people that came to mind talking about people aren't here anymore um, is Paul Robeson. So that's okay. like one of the men that has always um, been a model for me. So I have a wonderful script about actually him and his friendship and relationship with Albert Einstein, which a lot okay. of people know nothing about. I, the first thing I exactly. saw was a meme that, you know, recently, and I reposted it. It right. was a meme about Albert Einstein and his role in not civil rights, but yeah. the civil rights movement, Surprise, you know what I mean? So, early, yeah. early on. You'd, you'd be surprised yeah. the level of consciousness that he had and um, how much he was connected to people who were very committed to anti-lynching movement and so forth, you know? So, and then, so that's why this, the friendship between the two was, was really kind of a perfect match, okay. but they're almost 20 years apart. Similarly, you wouldn't think, most people wouldn't assume that Paul Robeson was smart enough to be a friend of Albert Einstein, mm -hmm. and in actuality, he's his intellectual equal. That's how bad. That's how much of us. Okay, so we put that out man. into the universe. That's how much of a brilliant man Paul. Who's Robinson gonna play? Was. Who's gonna play Albert that's Einstein? All, oh, we're working on that. You're so, gonna work yeah, on that. So I'll keep okay, my all right. Lips, you know, shut on that. But you know, obviously, I'm Paul. 
Definitely. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, so Albert and Paul. Um, Albert and Paul film for more information. Follow us, you know. The, <laughs> All right. The sites are up. And, uh, yeah, so really great script. Thomas Lee Johnson is the writer, um, the executive producer. And um, so, yeah, we partnered really trying to bring that story to life. So that's that's definitely one. He would be at the top of the list. But then there's others. There's been a lot of chatter, funny enough, rolling around on social media about me doing Luther Vandross. Um, and I would definitely skinny do, Luther. It doesn't matter. I mean, you gonna put I'll, the suit on? I'll gain weight to do chubby Luther. You know what I mean? So that's that's. No, but no. So that's that's one of the people on my. Um, you know, I also. Um, you know, it would be it would be interesting. I'm I'm really interested in uh, in, in Bill Cosby. Um, I think it would be a very, very interesting uh, journey and conversation to really kind of explore what his what his life has been like. Um, well, I think he should definitely, yeah. that is something that he should definitely yeah. make happen yeah. for his experiences in those early years yeah. to All know what Hollywood was and still is a little bit, but Listen, what Hollywood he's was. He's holding a lot of people's secrets. Back in, right. He's holding a lot of people's secrets. Yeah, because, you know, there's the party, the, and then the party in the party, yeah. and then the party in the party in the party. You don't want to, you don't and you don't want to, once you, don't you get to that party, you some wanna, people <laughs> are going to have some me. secrets on you. I, I got heard. some stories, I'm and I sure ain't even been on the as long as he has. Lord have mercy. Or had the access, really, that he has. But, but yeah, so anyways, you know, it's folks like that. It's like, you know, there's just so many incredible stories. And there's even men whose names are not household names. There's other men throughout, um, you know, civil rights movement. Um, you know, my man Nate already did Nat Turner, for example. I mean, it's like stories that I want to tell that are like, you know, some of the people who um, would, would not necessarily be, you know. So um, if not acting, what? Um, male model. I probably be, nah, nah, I did that already. Oh, um, okay. uh, honestly, I'd probably be, I'd probably be, uh, teaching. I'd probably be, um, writing. I'd probably be like, you know, your your college professor. You know, um, but, my college professors didn't look like you. Well, no. times have changed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Listen, these I teachers. When I see these teachers in school yeah. these days, I'm like. With the tight up skirts, yeah. okay, sis. All right. Yeah. So you know, you you come to class and Doctor Doctor Rucker will be, okay. be there ready right. for you. So yeah. So definitely more of that, more like writing, lecturing, um, but again, more script writing, directing. Um, okay. For sure, uh, definitely directing and, and producing a lot more. Um, um, I'd be. Uh, well, again, that's still acting. I was about to be like, I would definitely be doing more on stage than just film and okay. television. Um, you know, I'd be focusing more on business, um, businesses, and you actually would probably see. Me. I mean, there's people who always wanted me to go into uh, politics, funny enough. So ever since I was in high school, people been calling me the mayor. Or <laughs> I've always had these kind of nicknames. So. Um, you know, I've done a lot of. I see. I see the teacher. I see yeah, the I've professor. Yeah, but I've done a lot of activism, and that's that's mm -hmm. still very much a part of me. So I would probably increase that um, whatever impact that I would be trying to have on um, on on public policy, and you know, and that gotcha. kind of thing. So I would probably, if I wasn't focusing so much love and energy, um, you know, as an actor and my creative spirit, and again, really still being. An activist and an educator and businessman through the arts, right? It's all it all kind of goes together. Mm -hmm. But if I didn't have this kind of artistic um, side, I would probably be leaning into that a little bit, you know. And yeah, I, you know, you never know. I mess around, be governor of Florida. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, it works for us, but you know, let's yeah. let's let's not. We you won't know. talk about that right now. We won't talk about our current government. We're not going to do that. So fatherhood. It's been a year. Who is Lamont post fatherhood that he wasn't a year and a half ago? Wow, that's a really tough question. Um, I might be good at this. And I, well, the reason why, I, well, not to take anything from you, it's an excellent question. <laughs> excellent questioner. <laughs> okay. Um, 
but but it's it's an interesting question more so because I've been I've been parenting since I was in high school really so you know it's kind of I think the difference is just a matter of uh, maybe experience and of all the children that I've parented all the children that I've helped to raise um, they've uh, it's the fact that no matter where you are in the timeline or what age you are every like literally every single child is different mm -hmm. um, at the same time children are children and as an educator I've literally taught in four or five different states um, <laughs> kindergarten to corporate and at the same time babies are all the same kids are all the same I'll never forget check this out I'll never forget I had a class full of adults when I was in graduate school and I gave their asses scratch and sniff stickers you would have thought they were preschoolers like how but <laughs> it was so the fact you know little things. It, well not only that it's the th little things that remind you that mm -hmm. even though we are adults that we're all we all still have those same little those same little kids, you know, in, inside of us, you know. So even though we're adults and we have these little kids inside of us, it's it's still important to kind of speak to and meet the same kind of needs, regardless of what what age you are. So yes, um, I'm a Toys R Us kid. I'm never growing up. Yeah, well, you should. You should. I mean, I think it's important to stay young at heart. So I think that's one of the things that that parenting also does. You got to really lean into. Um, the good times because yeah, there's a lot of challenges. Everything is a new learning experience. Children are an X factor at any time, every day. You know, parents. You know, people who are parents know that phone rings and you look and see and then, oh my God, it's the school or it's you'd be like, oh, what happened? <laughs> what happened? you know? It's it's yeah, I've that that, that anxiety well. you have every day that you get a you know progress report of some kind. Mm -hmm. How she do today? How he do today? You know. Um, so, you know, it's, it's just uh, the more mature you are, the more your life has a certain kind of structure or shape or your expectations because you've been in control of it, right, mm -hmm. for so long. And now you have then, no control. And then a new variable comes along that is constantly throwing you curveballs and you got to stay you gotta stay so pre Lamont had control post fatherhood. No, no, but you know what? I think I'm that's the like, best. No, no, no. But that's an excellent question. But I just think, thankfully, and again, I thank God for. I, I, I think this is part of the, like I said, the, the artsy fartsy dude and the create my creative spirit is that I've learned to embrace uncertainty. That's the world we live in as as artists, and we've always got to be on our toes. I believe creativity is not just to do things for performance. The real value of creativity is problem solving, it's innovation, it's, you know, adapting, it's making adjustments on your toes and never skipping a beat, you know? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a it's Kinda a like gift. doing events on the beach Absolutely, side. it's all it's all it's mm -hmm. all the same. So yes. I think that's really um, what it, it the way it's changing is that it, it's kinda like it really helps polish and tweak those skills. So you gotta you gotta stay sharp, be on your toes. Natural trendsetters, doing what we do naturally, restoring crowns from society's chemically fried reality, kept shining with oils saturated in self-love, service honed for holistic health, spiritually and physically, they restore wealth, natural trendsetters, adorns your royal coils naturally. That's B-side memory. Oh, today, hands down. Okay. Hands down, today. This was so much fun. I, this I is did. your first time officially. Yeah, like you've come exactly. through when we were on South Beach. You've come through to that yeah. location yeah. in town for Within something. Just days. popped in. We yeah. definitely hung out. But that's me coming yeah, to hang out with you when you're person. doing something. Yeah. But this is our official yeah, I guess. Uh -huh. first time. History, baby. So so this so this, this, this is going to live in it. infamy. Stranded on the side of the road today. You know what I mean? <laughs> Me and Dichotomy and, you know, and Orville, like, you know, doing our thing. Um, getting our asses spanked by the girls on stage and in the audience. I mean, all of that. That was tons of fun. But the, the real fun was doing all of that together and doing it. Yes. And, and doing it with you. Yes. Yeah. All right. This is Lamont Rucker. I am Ingrid B. And we are on the B-side.